Hello everyone, Paul Tranny here, Principal Evangelist here at Adobe, and I want to show you, that's right, gradients. We've updated gradients, they're much more smooth. I'm going to show you what you need to do. In fact, let's literally jump right in right now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate her. So I'm going to go to Properties Panel, this layer is selected, this is a bonus tip, Remove Background. Boom. There it is. We remove the background. We'll double click on that mask. We'll just kind of get rid of the uh, the gold in her hair, right? The background and all that stuff. But now I want to add a gradient in the background. So easiest way to do this is go to your gradients panel. Now look at all these lovely gradients. You might not have all of these. They might be organized differently. I take them out of their folders, but go to legacy gradients, add some additional ones as you can see right down here. Okay, but once you've done that, you can just jump in and click on any one of these and we can see all these lovely gradients. Okay, but let me show you what is new. In fact, let's just pick these two. I'm picking these two colors because they're the opposite ends of the color spectrum. So they're complementary color and they have a tendency to sometimes get muddy. So let's take a look at classic. So this is usually what it looks like. So I've double clicked on that gradient fill layer. And this is the, how things used to look. We just had to deal with mud right here, okay? Well, guess what? It's now gonna be set to perceptual, boom. You could see it got rid of all that muddiness, which is so nice. And by the way, this is the extra little setting. If you wanna give it a little bit of pop, change that to linear. And I've noticed, and we'll notice when I kind of click around to others, that it's really going to give it uh, some pop, especially if you change it to linear, okay? So that's all you need to do. Keep that in mind. It works for all the tools. So if I jump out here and uh, I grab a gradient, right, drag that out. Notice right up here, you'll start see, seeing perceptual other places, like right there, perceptual. Okay, perfect, right? So that's set to perceptual, that's good. Let's turn her on, let's add a gradient map. That's the last thing we're gonna do, just different ways of using gradients. Gradient map, clicking there. We're going to apply this just to her, so hold down the option key, click, or alt key if you're on a PC, click to make that a clipping mask. Right now, she's just gray. But now we can see right in here, perceptual, perfect, right? We'll change that to something more fun. Let's go in here, maybe change it to that color and let's reverse it. And sure enough, we can go through sort of classic. You might not notice, depending on the gradient, since these two colors are closer, see, look at how much brighter uh, linear is. Linear and then perceptual is how you see it as well. Uh, again, linear will give it that pop. And uh, now she has a little, a little pep in her step. I will go ahead and paste a link, add a link to the description below on uh, the, uh, so you could read up more on it basically. But that is how you use gradients and the new gradient options in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.